Welcome. Our presentation is great in the online classroom. My co-presenters are Jessica Harn, myself, Kimberly Long, Lisa Rose, and Mandy Smith. All of us teach at faculty, or excuse me, teach at University of Phoenix. Here are our lovely faces. We are talking about great in the online classroom. All of us teach introductory college courses at University of Phoenix and attempting to best support our students. My colleagues and I have explored many ways to proactively assist students, such as phone calls, rewording directions for assignments, including multimedia within our classrooms to expand on key concepts and topics, providing video feedback for assignments, and engaging students in discussion of how the course topics relate to their career plans. While all these strategies and many other strategies we did not list were no doubt useful, we found students who struggled the most needed something else. These students, often those who had taken these courses previously, were missing the mindset successful students exemplified. This mindset was grit. So our research question starting out was, how can we best assist our students to be successful in pursuing their academic goals? We found that grit was something that could be useful here. So going back to a literature review, um, grit is a term coined by Angela Duckworth, Christopher Peterson, Michael Matthews, and Dennis Kelly in their research first published in 2007, entitled Grit, Perseverance, and Passion for Long-Term Goals. Duckworth et al. defined grit as, quote, perseverance and passion for long-term goals, and quote, the mindset entails, quote, working strenuously toward challenges, maintaining effort and interest over years despite failure, adversity, and plateaus in progress. End quote. Thus, grit is akin to approaching college as a marathon instead of a sprint. Their research involves studying West Point cadets, spelling bee participants in La Jolla, California, and University of Pennsylvania's psychology students. What Duckworth et al. found was that grit was a better indicator of success than IQ and that anyone can learn to be gritty. Duckworth et al. do not claim that grit is new, but rather it's related to willpower, resilience, fortitude, industriousness and or as part of the big five dimensions of personality, specifically conscientiousness. Grit is a characteristic that can be seen and grown in anyone regardless of background. And this is Duckworth right here um, at her TED talk from 2013. Subsequent to this first article, Duckworth's name has become synonymous with grit. She has worked with Seattle Seahawks football team and leaders within education, such as KIPP, the Knowledge is Power Program Charter School Network. She has advocated against testing students on their level of grit and instead believes students should be supported to learn to develop and exhibit grit. In Duckworth's work with KIPP, students are held to high standards and are taught to develop good habits and discipline. Duckworth et al. developed a grid scale, which can be viewed on this slide right here. The link is right here. This is a screenshot to show you some of the questions in the grid scale. The only drawback to this self-assessment is that it is a self-assessment. So that is not always accurate. Um, in order for the questions to be accurate or the assessment to be accurate, the questions need to be answered honestly. Um, the scale can be a good indicator of whether grit is a skill that individuals need to work on in the future. One way students can develop grit is to apply the growth mindset, psychologist Carol Dweck's term, for how we can grow our skills, whether academic, personal, or professional. With a growth mindset, we enjoy learning, we value the lessons and mistakes, and appreciate challenges. As with any research, there is criticism of Duckworth's theory. What most critics have honed on to was that Duckworth never questioned how society values success or how the barrier some students face due to systematic oppression based on race, class, gender, religion, and or sexuality prevents them from achieving the success Duckworth and society values and that Duckworth is focused more on teaching self-regulation than self-expression. Joanne Golan, um, an ethnographer, worries that students are trained to be worker learners, constrained and deferential rather than applying critical thinking. Duckworth addresses some of this criticism in her original work, writing, my theory doesn't address these outside forces, nor does it include luck. It's about the psychology of achievement, but because psychology isn't all that matters, is incomplete, end quote. Other critics have noted that Duckworth's research has focused on Ivy League schools, such as West Point and University of Pennsylvania students. Thus, the research does not take into account a wide range of student populations. Further, RIS 2016 argues that students in low-income neighborhoods and minority students are already displaying grit to get through the challenges of their day-to-day -day life. Despite what some critics have said, there has still been some clear success in implementing grit growth programs. Uh, Lone Star College, Tomball State, for instance, conducted an impact study called Grit, Growth, Greatness, G3 basically, the Grit, Growth, and Greatness, in both ground and online classes in the fall of 2015. 
and I skipped that part, sorry. Um, their intent was to, quote, counteract declining enrollments and lessen satisfactory performance on Lone Star College District key performance indicators, end quote. The focus of the study was to determine if high grit scores were related to high achievement and if grit could be increased. The study was conducted across the college and included some courses that were intentionally fused with grit-based activities and some that were not served, um, that were not and served as a control group. The work of Paul Stoltz, Angela Duckworth, and Carol Dweck informed this study. Paul Stoltz's work is focused on business leadership and views grit with an additional R. So you can see here in this slide, there's growth or the growth mindset, resilience or the capacity to use adverse, adversity to develop, instinct or the ability to pursue the right goals effectively and intelligently, tenacity or commitment and persistence with enduring energy and effort and robustness, which is the extra R, or the wear and tear staying power with strength built over time. The findings of the Lone Star College Tomball study based on assessments conducted at the beginning and conclusion of courses were that grit could be grown, high grit scores did indeed correlate to higher student performance and retention. This study presented us with the impet impet ah, impetus excuse me, to continue our work to include grit with the online classroom despite the limitations of Duckworth's research on grit mentioned earlier. We still see value in teaching and role modeling grit in the online classroom. Grit, as defined by Duckworth, is that passion and perseverance for long-term goals, which is a key component of student success in college. Without the determination to keep pursuing their academic goals, students can get sidetracked by work and personal problems. Thus, they do not graduate or find they are repeating the same classes to earn a passing grade and get off academic probation. We looked at how overwhelming starting college can be for online students who do not have the advantage of peers physically nearby to use as a support system and ask questions of when they are confused. There were also other factors considered in student success. So now we're going to look at the demographics of these students. So according to a college atlas study in 2014, online students were largely women, 70%. Most were working full-time, 60% while attending college. A good portion were the first in their family to attend college at 37%, and almost half stated their motivation for enrolling in college was to advance their career, 46%. Therefore, a good por portion of our students do not have parents or older siblings to role model or discuss life as a college student with them. Further, online students are juggling school with working, with most do full time. Um, from our personal experience teaching online, about half, if not more, of our students are also parents. Additionally, all of us have had at least one or two students per class that had some form of disability, which is often why they've chosen to take college courses online. Some online students have been out of school for a considerable amount of time, barely past high school, and or are in need of developing their writing schools, their writing skills um, that are necessary for college. And some Online students are balancing multiple responsibilities and circumstances while working towards their academic goals. From our discussions online and on the phone with our students, we know that the same students struggling in our classes are exhibiting grit in their professional and personal lives, but do not how to know how to apply the same mindset to their classroom studies. Most of our students have had to persevere and apply grit to their lives to get where they are at today. The question then becomes, how to develop grit or how the, the question then becomes how to help students bridge the gap between being unfamiliar with college requirements demands and lingo such as apa chicago style or mla and being comfortable in this new environment we plan to implement the use of the grit scale in week one to bring awareness of grit as a skill to help students succeed and overcome whatever limits or barriers they face. Furthermore, we will include online discussion of what GRIT is through a starter discussion thread. In this starter thread and subsequent discussion posts, we hope to extrapolate on how to apply GRIT to the online classroom, how to grow GRIT, and what limits the growth of GRIT. During the final week of class, we will reintroduce the GRIT scale to see if students have developed their level of GRIT and provide a space for further reflection on the merits of GRIT in students' lives. This self-awareness and self-reflection allows students to become more aware of negative self-talk, emotional obstacles, and the internal and external barriers which may be prohibiting some great growth. With evaluation, analysis, and reflection of the student's self and the student's ability to apply grit to his or her studies, the student is better equipped to pursue his or her academic goals and have an increasingly defined, developed, and focused direction. Other ways we plan to implement GRIT is through role modeling or sharing examples of when we have used GRIT in our own lives. 
class discussions and online class are a powerful tool for assisting students in reframing negative talk or problems and supporting students in finding ways to use problems to grow and develop in alignment with course objectives and topics. Faculty can also provide resources for students in class discussions, emails, and phone conversations, such as assisting students in developing time management skills and SMART goals. SMART um, is an acronym for specific, measurable, achievable, realistic, and timely. Um, by teaching stress reduction strategies, by allowing students to evaluate their own learning styles and means of using these learning styles to their advantage, and by emphasizing the importance of humility and the willingness to accept change and help. Additionally, faculty could emphasize collaboration, brainstorming, questioning, creativity, researching, self-regulation, open-mindedness, and learning for the joy of knowledge, all of which are values that are in alignment with grit. These recommendations are a start to changing negative habits, negative thoughts, and negative brain patterns such that students become grittier in their college career. In future research, we hope to track whether introducing grit, its benefits to students' success in college, and discussion of how to apply grit will assist students in achieving their academic goals. We hope we have noted that since our online classes are only five weeks, it can be challenging in some courses to introduce grid on top of the um, on top of following the course objectives and goals. However, some of the course objectives have aligned quite well with discussing grit. And we end with this quote: "Our potential is one thing; what we do with it is quite another." Duckworth, um, 2016, page 14 in her book. And here are our references. I'm just sorry; I'm not sure if this um, completely shows on the screen. And then I'll move to the next one, try to frame it here. Thank you for your time, and please let us know if you have any questions or comments. Um, thank you.